YouTube, it's good to see you guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to lubricate an AR-15 rifle. Here we go. Alright guys, in order to lubricate your AR-15 rifle, you need to lay out something to take up the extra mess from your solvents and all that. In my case, I chose to use uh, old t-shirts. So these are all old undershirts that have been put through the ringer. You're going to need some kind of solvent. I decided to use Break Free CLP for that role. And I highly suggest to get into every nook and cranny, you're going to need Q-tips. So Break Free CLP and Q-tips. If you're going to use a spray type deal, don't forget to shake it real good. I've already been shaking it. I'm going to give it one last good shake and get down to it. If you're going to lubricate any firearm, use something that's intended for firearms because it needs to stand up to temperature. Go ahead and charge the weapon in order to open the dust cover. Make sure your weapon is clear. We just cleared it. Go ahead and take off the upper receiver. The upper receiver likes to come off back end first. This one's kind of new, so the pins aren't broken in yet. Sorry, I went off camera there, guys. I wasn't. Ex I'm kind of getting used to the setup here. I'm gonna use my charging handle. There we go. Take out the bolt carrier. I'm look. Find the groove in order to take out your charging handle. We're definitely going to want to lubricate around the gas tube and all around the inside where your bolt carrier slides back and forth and where your charging handle sits. So we've got a lot of lubrication to do here. I'm going to start out with the bolt carrier. all over the bolt carrier. The only thing you don't want to do is on the uh, you want to keep your bolt face dry. It's the only part of this thing that doesn't take lube. This particular bolt carrier is brand spanking new because we just built this one together. If you want to see the videos, I'm going to link it in the comments. We just finished building this one, so this is a brand new bolt carrier. It's actually sucking up all the lube. I guess it's the finish they put on here. It's actually absorbing quite a bit of the lube.
I don't suggest you get too much lube inside these holes here because gas actually does escape from there. It's not the end of the world if you get a little bit in there, but I wouldn't go out of my way to put lube in there, that's for sure. They want to be sure to lubricate the back as well because that rubs on the buffer tube. Eventually I'm going to lubricate the buffer tube as well. Some people suggest you use gloves when you lube up your rifles or any firearm. I guess I'm going to chance it. Do the gas key up here as well. Not the inside, as gas actually runs through your gas key. You don't want to do the inside of the gas key, but just outside at least. You do want to, once you get to the gas tube, you do want to lubricate that due to the fact that um, the gas tube slams into the inside of your gas key up here. So you want to have the, the gas tube lubricated at least. I'm going to use an Allen key to pull out this retainer. It actually retains your firing pin. I'm going to lube that up as well. This pin actually holds in your firing pin into your bolt carrier. I had to turn this uh, clockwise so I can pull it out and pull out the bolt. Uh, the manufacturer actually did go ahead and lube this. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that nice and lubed up the way that it is. You'd want to go ahead and lube up all of this. The manufacturer put some lube on it, but I'm going to put some more. I'm going to lube in here as well. I'm actually surprised the manufacturer took so much care to do all that. Lubing up the inside of the bolt carrier where the bolt sits, the channel where the bolt sits, putting a generous amount of lube in there. I'm going to go ahead and re lube the entire uh, I'm going to go ahead and lube the entire bolt carrier again just because uh, the finish on this thing absorbed it all last time. Go ahead and spray down the bolts. Leave the bolt face unlubricated. I'm going to lubricate the locking lugs. pin, the 
change the the firing pin. I'm going to go ahead and put some on the back of the firing pin. I'm going to go ahead and lubricate the entire firing pin. A bolt carrier doesn't usually require so much lubrication, but since it's brand spanking new, we give it its initial coating of oil all over. And now to reassemble a bolt carrier. When you reassemble your bolt carrier, you want to make sure the gaps on your rings are staggered nowhere near each other you don't want them lined up perfect perfectly staggered and insert it you want your ejector down on this side of your assembly and your extractor up on the top over that way, that's how you want it. Go ahead and put the retainer through the hole and turn it counterclockwise to lock it in. drop in your firing pin all the way down you need to make sure it goes all the way down so that you can use your retaining pin to lock it in the way it needs to be locked in simply push it in if it's new and tight or something you might need to find a tool sometimes you can get away with it manually I was able to do it manually Make sure the firing pin doesn't fall out. I go ahead and spray down the portion of the charging handle that goes into your firearm. I'm just going to spray the whole thing down. Make sure you lubricate in the hole where your gas key goes through which I did I'm going to use some q-tips now to uh, to go ahead and lubricate the inside of the upper receiver I'm going to do the channel where the bolt carrier goes through and where the bolt charging handle goes and definitely make sure to get the gas tube, the outside part of the gas tube. I went ahead and just sprayed some oil right into the channel where the I went ahead and sprayed some lube into the channel where the uh, bolt carrier slides through. Be careful not to get any into your chamber. You don't want oil in your chamber. Spreading it with a Q-tip. Can't wait to function check this weapon.
currently spreading some on the outside of the gas tube. Spreading some oil on the other side of the channel where the uh, bolt carrier slides through. I'll put some through here where your retaining pins go through over here as well it's good to keep that lubricated alright looks like that's all nice and done Now I'm going to move on to the lower receiver. In the lower receiver, you want to go ahead and lubricate uh, anywhere where metal rubs metal. So I like to do the entirety of the trigger mechanism with uh, just you know light oil with a with a Q-tip. And then I like to do, I like to make sure these uh, retaining pins are lubed up. And that's it. Put it in, and it's uh, ready for reassembly. Do the hammer face down in there on the front. Do not let the hammer slam against the the receiver. It's not good. Doing the entire hammer everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Even the sides. It's just how I like to do it. Go ahead and put in some on the on the second sear. Putting some on the safety back there, all the way in the back. All the way in there on the bottom, on the base of the hammer in there, where the second sear is at, sides of the second sear, all that. Give it one more pass. I'm going to do put a little bit more oil on my retaining pins here. All around. And I'm going to brush some on the bolt hold back over here. all over the front, all over the bolt hold back the internal parts of the bolt hold back uh, pull it out a bit pull out the bolt hold back so you can lube in there and we're done with the lubrication now it's time to reassemble Alright guys, the first thing I like to do when reassembling the upper is put the charging handle in because you're going to be in a world of hurt if you, put, if you drive the bolt carrier home without this in there. So you put it in, look for the groove, oh it popped in, push it in slightly past the groove, grab your bolt carrier, if you want it to fit you got to pull your bolt out. Once you have your bolt extended, 
put your gas key down into the channel on your charging handle and drive it home. There we go. The upper is together. Now you just want to match the holes in your upper and lower. Hold the upper and lower together. Your buffer tube is going to push it out of battery. So hold them tight together and drive home your pins. Most of the time you can do it manually. If you need to use a hammer, use a hammer. There we go. Give it a function check. And we're done. Perfectly lubricated firearm. If you guys like my videos, please like and subscribe. It helps a whole lot. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate your company.